I wanted to give you a, a little bit of history. Why do we have racing? Well, my brother-in-law, Neil, happens to race in the Ferrari Challenge and he does some things with McLaren. And along the way, we have met a number of professional race car drivers. When it occurred to them that Nancy, in fact, was sick, they just didn't know it. And so they said, well, we should do something about it. So they began to put you know, decals on the car at no cost to the foundation or anybody else. And we were stunned you know, to see what those results were. So we loved the awareness in the beginning. And then soon after that, we said awareness is great, but we really, 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 you know, we need research. Relapsing polychondritis is an inflammatory disease. Currently, of onion etiology, um, hopefully not for too long, uh, that affects multiple organs and it has a predilection for cartilaginous structures. The disease can be fatal uh, and it carries significant morbidity. Earlier this year, I got a call from Virginia Ladd, the president and executive director of ARDA, the American Autoimmune Related Diseases Association in, the, uh, in East Point, Michigan, and she was extremely excited. She said, you know, our, our long-term plan for 20 years, we've been looking for an autoimmunity institute, and there was just an announcement, and I spoke to him, and she was so excited, I could barely understand the name of the city, but it turned out it was uh, Dr. Joseph Ahart. We have all of the specialties that a patient with autoimmune disease might need. And thanks to ARDA, thanks to Race for RP, we've been getting referrals from all over the world just since May. The incidents have been calculated to be between 0.71 to 3.5 per million, but I believe that this may be because this disease is underdiagnosed and underrecognized, and I think that this disease is more common than people think it is. It doesn't matter if it's a rare disease if you have it. If it's a lupus patient or a rheumatoid arthritis patient, they don't care if it's common or rare. The family doesn't care how common or rare it is. The best things about being an advocate in this space is literally every day I meet somebody who's you know, friendly, motivated, and wants to do something. You don't, you don't know what it's going to be. The diagnosis is purely clinical, and that is a problem because we do not have a biomarker, meaning that there is not a blood test that can make this diagnosis. And furthermore, the inflammatory markers can be completely normal in a patient that has significant inflammation, making it even more confusing. We decided to create an international multidisciplinary group, so we have multiple super specialities that are working with us to make all of this possible. And for this type of community coming together, if we can work together and figure out RP, We'll figure out lupus, RA, MS. The pieces of the puzzle will fit in the other puzzles. It is a race. Uh, you know, we need to make progress. It, it may be an endurance race, but it's a race. I am so inspired by this group, by Mike and what he's done, and I look forward to doing everything we can um, to kick ass and, and kill this disease. So with all of that, I just want to say that where there is research, there is hope. And we have research.